There are several different types of criminal offenses that we need to discuss. Offenses against the person are contained in Part 8 of the Criminal Code. This includes crimes in which the victim is threatened, injured, or killed. Violent crime is actually decreasing in Canada, but it is considered very serious and therefore carries with it the stiffest penalties. Homicide is the killing of another person, either directly or indirectly. It can be culpable homicide, which means the accused can be held legally responsible, or a non-culpable homicide, death, caused by an unforeseeable accident. Murder, the intentional killing of another human being, is a form of culpable homicide. The Criminal Code classifies murder into two categories, first degree and second degree. First degree murder includes a killing that falls into any one of the following situations. It is planned and deliberate. One person hires another to commit murder. The victim is a peace officer, prison employee, or other person employed for the preservation and maintenance of public peace. The murder is caused while committing or attempting to commit another serious offense. Second degree murder is defined as any murder that does not fit into one of the four situations listed under first degree murder. Both first and second degree murder have a minimum sentence of life imprisonment. The difference is when they can apply for parole. After 25 years for first degree murder and usually after 10 years for second degree. Infanticide is the killing of a newborn infant by the child's mother. It is culpable homicide. For the crime to be considered infanticide, the accused must be the natural mother of the victim. The victim must be less than 12 months old, and at the time of the killing, the accused must have been suffering from a mental disturbance caused by not being able to recover from giving birth to the victim. The maximum penalty is five years. Manslaughter is any culpable homicide that is not murder or infanticide. The actus reus of the offense consists of killing someone through a wrongful act, even if the killing was not intentional. The mens rea is that the reasonable person could have foreseen that the wrongful act would pose a risk of bodily harm, and that was neither insignificant or temporary. It can also be criminal negligence causing death, but not both. Sometimes a charge of murder can be reduced to manslaughter if the accused has shown provocation, words or actions that could cause a reasonable person to behave irrationally or to lose control. Assault is the most common form of violent crime in Canada. Assault comprises any one of the following actions. Intentionally applying force to another person, either directly or indirectly, without that person's consent. Attempting or threatening by act or gesture to apply force. Accosting or impeding another person, or begging while openly wearing or carrying a weapon or an imitation of a weapon. The criminal code classifies assault according to three levels of severity. Level 1, a hybrid offense, carries a maximum of five years. This is touching without consent or threatening a person with violence. Level 2, assault with a weapon or causing bodily harm, injuring a person in a way that has serious consequences for that victim's health or comfort. Level 3, aggravated assault, which involves wounding, maiming, disfiguring, or endangering the life of the victim. Sexual assault is the touching of a sexual nature that is not invited or consensual. It also has three levels. Level 1, a hybrid offense, the most common and the one where the victim suffers the least physical injury. 97% of all cases of sexual assault are level 1. It holds a maximum penalty of 10 years. Level 2, sexual assault with a weapon threats to a third party or causing bodily harm. This basically involves weapons, threats, or physical injury. It has a maximum sentence of 14 years. Level 3, 
aggravated sexual assault, which involves wounding, maiming, disfiguring, or endangering the life of the victim. There are a variety of motor vehicle offenses. One is dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. The Crown must prove that the safety and lives of others were endangered because the driver failed to exercise the same care a prudent driver would have exercised under the same conditions. This is a hybrid offence. Failure to stop at the scene of an accident. Anyone involved in an accident who doesn't stop, offer assistance, or give their name and address is presumed to show intent to escape civil or criminal liability. This is commonly known as a hit and run and is a hybrid offence. Impaired driving. It is an offence to operate a motor vehicle while the amount of alcohol in the bloodstream exceeds 50 milligrams in a hundred milliliters of blood or 0 0.05. The police can demand that anyone who they have reasonable grounds to believe is operating or has operated a motor vehicle take the breathalyzer test. A blood sample can be given in place of a breathalyzer. Offenses against property include theft, taking property permanently or temporarily without the owner's permission. The item must be taken without the color of right, that is, the honest belief that a person owns or has permission to use the article in question. You can also commit theft by conversion, such as keeping money mistakenly deposited in your account. Robbery is theft with the use or threat of violence. Breaking and entering is breaking or opening something in order to enter the premises without permission, with the intent to commit an indictable offence. This is punishable by up to life in prison if the breaking and entering took place in a dwelling place. There are a number of other criminal offences. Mischief. The willful destroying or damaging property or data, interfering with the lawful use of property or data, or interfering with any person in the lawful use of data or property. For example, vandalism. This is a hybrid offense. Public mischief. Providing false information that causes the police to start or continue an investigation without cause. For example, falsely reporting a stolen car. Fraud. Intentionally deceiving someone in order to cause a loss of property, money, or service. Prostitution. The act of engaging in sexual services for money. Actually, it's not illegal in Canada, but soliciting is, that is, communicating for the purpose of prostitution, in a place open to public view. Keeping a body house, a place kept, occupied, or used by a person for the purpose of prostitution or the practice of indecent acts. Gambling. This is not a criminal offense itself, but keeping a disorderly house is. For example, a common body, betting, or gaming house. Drug offenses are listed under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act. First, possession. That is, knowledge and control. A person must know what item the item is and have some measure of control over it. They may be found in possession even if he or she gave the item to another person. Finally, he may be found to be in possession by consenting to its possession by someone else. Trafficking. A criminal offense that involves selling, giving, transporting, or distributing a controlled substance or an authorization for a controlled substance. The Crown must prove that the accused possessed the controlled substance with the intention of trafficking. Then money laundering, that is transferring cash or other property to conceal its illegal origin.